These shocking revelations, veritable firestorm of anti mengs sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. Emperor, how do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Abusing aliens... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I will stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. And won us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Lockwell here, live from Korhal. There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Tarsonis. I had a brother there. Um, I, um... Right. Uh, th th thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, okay. Emperor Menx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He's since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Menx has been revealed as a... This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion, the battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Today, I'm speaking with Crown Prince Valerian. Highness, what do you have to say about the allegations that recently came to light regarding your father's corruption? Kate, there's no need to belabor that topic. Highness, I think the question on everyone's mind is, do you have a special lady in your life? Truth be told, Kate, I've had a crush on you for many years. I... um... what? But in all seriousness, with the Zerg invasion, there's little time for such things. I've been studying military tactics under General Warfield, and whatever spare time I have is devoted to statecraft. It's my goal to be the best Emperor our people could ask for. When the time comes, of course. Wonderful. Now I've got two of them to worry about. Level 800 Elite Torin Chieftain is back with a new album, Pulse Pounding Rock, that will shake the galaxy. Rock out with such hits as Rogues Do It From Behind, Terran Up The Night, Another Hydralisk Bites The Dust, Saturday Night's Alright For Nuking, Lucy In The Sky With Mutus, Every Rose Has Its Thor, Touring In Your Galaxy, No! Tonight on UNN, 
Another world has broken into open revolt, and Emperor Manx still refuses to give any interviews. Is the Dominion falling apart around us? I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. In this reporter's opinion... Oh, Minx is in deep now. Burn for all I care. Hankering for some down-home cooking out there in the space lanes? Come on down to Bubba's Gas and Grub. We got two for Tuesdays, featuring barbecue muta wings. Also, free plasma charge with each villa. Bubba's Gas and Grub. Your space trucker home away from home. Kate Lockwell for UNN. The elusive Queen of Blades was spotted on Tirador recently. Dr. Emil Narud, head of the renowned Mobius Foundation, had a run-in with the alien queen, but is currently unavailable for comment. In a statement, Dr. Narud credited Rainer's Raiders with keeping the Queen of Blades from achieving Kate, her- I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a breaking story. Apparently, uh, um, go to, go to, go to commercial, please, uh, commercial. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child with PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Tonight, top Dominion military analysts are still confused and relieved to report that while attacks do continue throughout the fringe, the main Zerg push into Dominion space seems to have slowed. That's wonderful news, Kate. Our boys have really taken the fight to the Zerg. Of course, Donnie. But there's also a sense that whatever the Zerg were after, they either got it or they've given up on it. We may never know. You heard it here first. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN Studios on Core Hall. Troubling news tonight, as Crown Prince Valerian seems to have gone missing. That's right, Donnie. Prince Valerian was scheduled to speak at the launch of the Dominion's newest battlecruiser, the White Star. But the ceremony had to proceed without the prince when he failed to arrive. Official government sources offered no comment. Whatever the situation, we here at UNN hope the prince is okay. Oh, Junior's doing just fine. So far. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night, Donnie Vermillion had himself committed to the Dominion Mental Health Center here on Corval. While the nature of his abrupt mental breakdown remains unknown, we do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Mengsk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. We wish you all the best, Donnie, and hope for your speedy recovery. In the meantime, I'll be taking over as chief anchor here at UNN. For UNN, I'm Kate Lockwell. Woo! Yes! Woo!